those other people taking photos. Oh, okay. Uh-huh, something is right. Okay, okay yes. right here. Yes. So, to me, it is an atrocity. I will always say that it is right to speak out against innocent people dying. But if we see throughout the world, throughout the world is an atrocity when innocent people die. But if we notice the, how, how the structure is of the media, if 129 die in France, or 33 die in Belgium. in Belgium, it's front page and they talk about it for the next 20 days. But when 11 million died in the Congo, yes. that's nearly forgotten. 10.9 million that died in Ethiopia during World War II at the hands of the Italians. 20.8 million that died in Russia at the hands of the Germans. And then they talk about 6 million in Western Europe. And then they claim that all of them were Jews, but there were blacks that died, there were gypsies that died, there was physically handicapped, mentally handicapped that died, there was German dissidents that died, and all that number comes out to six million. But to sensationalize what happened, they say six million Jews. Now, I'll say this, if it was 3.8 million Jews, that's a whole lot of people. They shouldn't add other people to that number to make it look big. But the truth is, 11 million died in the Congo regions, and this is forgotten about by most of the planet. They never ever talk about it as an atrocity. Yet, six million supposedly Jews died in Western Europe, and it's still being spoken about today. Even now, we still have a I don't know. absolutely Congo, brother. People are dying about the uh, much more. 6,200 died in Nigeria, 3.8 million died in Darfur, Sudan. Um, uh, 2.3 million recently died amongst the Romo people in Ethiopia. Look at the Palestinians. Since 1948, they keep on dying at the hands of the Zionist state. In a Caribbean nation, 58,000 people died in Venezuela and got butchered in Venezuela during the same time that the Russians invaded the Ukraine. Of course, the newspapers of the world reported on Russia invaded the Ukraine, not on the 58,000 civilians that were slaughtered in Venezuela. So if you notice, if it happens in Europe, if mm -hmm. it happens, of course, Russia holds a lot of attention to the world. They happen to be the second or maybe even the first most powerful military. But if it happens to any of the darker races, the Middle East, the African, South American, I know that. It doesn't even get mentioned in the newspapers. Peace be with you, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Would you help me? I need uh, you to, to take this like this and uh, record me for two, 30 seconds. Okay. Yes, um, here I'm uh, in front of uh, the White House in Washington, D.C. Uh, my name is uh, Jean-Claude Mubenga. I'm from Democratic Republic of Congo. I need to send this message to the president of uh, my country.
country, who is uh, Joseph Kabila. Uh, Mr. President, I know that it is uh, very hard for you to, to accept that uh, your term is uh, finished. You have to go at uh, the end of your term. is uh, is coming up to December 19. And uh, I need uh, you to start working on uh, uh, preparing uh, the election, the fair election in Congo, and uh, let uh, the 80 million of Congolese people to elect the new president. You did a job in our country for 15 years. It's not a dictatorship country, it's a democrat country, and we need you to step aside and let the democracy keep running in our country. Thank you to all the Congolese uh, uh, that uh, this video is for you. You are uh, the people who can make a decision and change the history of our country. Thank you again and uh, God bless uh, Congo country.